consumes more CPU resource for high quality. Okay, Yoda, we did this. Thanks a lot, friend. Uh, you're my um, Yoda. You are my uh, professor. Yeah, this is what you are. Like you know everything about the IT software and hardware and such and even website design you know am i right awi howie is angmar player now and awi howie loves uh, angmar faction so much from what i know he's on the right side of the map awi howie as angmar versus the slovenian player uh you're being on the left side of the map Okay. Goblins versus Angmar. Goblins represent the fire, while Angmar represents the snow. If you're asking me why, Angmar has big ice wolf, snow trolls, ice rangers, snow land, and the snow troll Rogash. While the goblin has a fire drake, and fire drake from the fortress, and fire dragon. And so many fire creatures like Balrog, so... Okay, starting with goblins for the Slovenian player. Goblin warrior, very basic and weak. And this unit falls big time later on against Engmar. Engmar... Uh, Engmar... Um, Gundabad Orc, Wolf Rider, Snow Trolls, and Karsh and Sorcerers make the goblin warrior very useless later on. So you need, you need to switch later on for better units. Uh, okay. But for now, Irby is gonna spam some Goblin Warriors. They are cheap though. 100 resources. Against 200 resources, Gundabad Orc. Gundabad Warrior. Actually, they are Orc. He might lose this building, Irby. He has nothing to defend this building. Whoa. This is the new meta, this one, Blight, mm, causing the production and the resource income from the fortress to be lower, and the production is gonna be slower. Okay, it, is, it looks po more powerful than the world chant in this beta version, so I don't know if they are going to uh, nerf it. Even the fortress used to give 25 resources, now it gives 18 resources. Anyway, goblins are gonna harass while the axe throwers from Awi Hawi are gonna defend. More axe throwers. The yeah, axe throwers are like archers, good to defend. Okay, we need to keep our eye on the minimap. So these three barracks are gonna produce like two barracks, big thanks to the blight. This is gonna be an interesting game, I think. Goblins versus um, uh, Angmar. If this game goes late, there will be a lot and lot of action. Goblins versus Angmar. Both of the factions have monsters, like Rogash and Shelob, and the Snow Trolls versus Fire Drake. So many monsters. Wait, does uh, does Urbi have a, a tunnel like? Is he he's defending the Gundabad orc with his warriors, but where is his tunnel? No tunnel near the uh, Turkish player Awi Hawi. No tunnel to it is it good idea if Awi went for the war riders? Uh Awi Hawi Wolf Riders you mean uh, Konadu? No. It is bad idea to get the Wolf Riders. They are expensive. Uh, five hundred resources the battalion costs. He can defend with Axorus and Gundabad Orc. He's like, let me explain it. Uh, 200 uh, unit battalion of Wolf um, of uh, Gundabad Orc <coughs> and 200 battalion of Axorus. They cost 400 resources, and they are still cheaper than the Wolf Rider, which costs 500 resources. Trollmaster of the Gundabad Orc costs 200 resources, and if you upgrade it with a wolf rider you need to pay 300 so that 500 resources uh horses i think they are too expensive you they are amazing later on but at the start no you need infantry versus infantry at the start 
Although the goblin is gonna over spam you uh, with lots of goblins, but still you need to find a way to stop the spam of the goblin with the gun the bad orc. Okay, none of the play. Oh wait, he might now go for it. I will, I will realize that. Okay, it is time to get the wolf rider to get rid of the. Uh, Hold on a second, is it, is it, is it, uh, is it, is it very quiet, the game sound? Oh, I would really love to hear the music and everything in the, I mean the environment, environment of the game, I'd like to hear it more. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, axe throwers, goblins, warriors, goblins here are gonna definitely die. Yes, yes, tournament game next DT. Uh, they are recorded, I mean, saved the replays from yesterday. They did these games and I couldn't cast it. Uh, I was uh, I was outside town, so I am going to watch what happened yesterday in this uh, tournament. It is best of nine. Okay, okay, okay. So we have now this building, Troll and Wolf Den. Uh, how, we, how we can produce now Wolf Rider from it? He has um, uh, farms reaching level two. That's amazing. Gives lots of uh, gives lots of um, uh, resources for the Engman. And how we? Uh, I mean, Urbi Slovene player is now going for the Spiderlings to counter the Wolf Rider. Very good choice. Wolf Rider versus Spiderlings. Spiderlings are better than the Wolf Riders, especially if you buy for them the Venom, uh, the Poison. Are you in the tournament? Yes, Nick, I am in the tournament. Uh, and I should play against Mr. Smoke, but I'm in the second bracket. Because I dropped. I haven't trained and, you know... You should train before you play, not to go directly. You need to warm up. Oh, the Stroll Master here, he might die, he might really die, Stroll Master, when he dies, the whole battalion dies, and this Stroll, he's gonna die, but, you know, he killed lots of stuff. Uh, treasure is gonna be taken by Aoi Aoi. There are lots of resources, for almost free, why shouldn't you take them? And he's now creeping also the uh, War Glare, uh, from this side, like, doing many w creep gives you lots of resources and that's always good uh urbi has spiderling and uh, goblin archers now he's, go he's gonna buy but his command point is kept so he needs more command point i want to check his command point is 650 so okay that's a huge army 700 actually command point uh blight was used to make the production slower more and more goblins with spiderlings get out. Okay. Hey, look at the power point from the player. Howie Howie getting lots of power points. Lots and lots of power points. Okay. Because of the wolf rider, the trample is awesome on the goblin. Actually, many of them have died. Now the Gundabad or summon after... A Gundabad Orc summon after the uh, Blight. It comes in the spell book. Whoa, okay. Uh, Urbi lost all of his units to the Angmar army. And you can see that the map is turning. Look at the command point of Urbi zero. I mean, almost zero. Or 84 of 650. That's a problem for the Slovenian player. He needs to do something. Uh, he has only Spiderling. He's buying the half rolls Marauder now in this beta four, a beta version. Uh, you can um, you can um, uh, get the half roll swordman uh, when you upgrade uh, the Fisher. But for now, he's buying the half roll swordman. Uh, I mean, pikeman. Yurbi. The map is turning in the favor of the Turkish player Awi Awi. He has many buildings. And now he's going for the snow troll. Yeah, amazing unit. Snow troll like has no counter but the fire drake, in my opinion. Spiderlings cannot kill the snow trolls. Direwolves are biting the half troll pikemen. 
but they are using that porpoise formation. This makes them very tanky. Okay, this is a big army of axolotls. Axolotls are strong. If they are, uh, oh, now there is a black Nemenorian. Black Nemenorian. It's uh, this unit is very tanky, especially if you use the charge attack. Gives you 33% uh, armor and damage. Snowtroll can do the same charge and 33% armor and damage. And you really want to use the Snowtroll as a charge attack. You see how powerful they are? They charge like crazy. Uh, you can't kill the half trolls because you need fire. Snow trolls uh, fear only one unit and it is the fire. They fear only the fire and uh, are we, uh, I mean, Urbi doesn't have any fire so far. No fire drake, no fire archers, no, uh, no fire dragon, nothing. Okay, uh, it's not going good for the goblin player. 925 command point for Awi Hawi. Uh, Yurbi had 500 command point, like half of his opponent's uh, command point. Spiderlings are trying to, from Yurbi, to destroy some resource buildings. Look at this army in, in, in Awi Hawi's base. He's the Angmar player. Snow trolls, more snow trolls. No fire drake. Ace dog. Hmm, okay. Ace dog is gonna be the first hero from the goblin pair. Okay. He defended against spiderlings. Spider summon. He, he's just dodging the spider uh, summons. They have a timer and their remaining time. It's gonna be soon, so... Yeah, snow trolls are horses, so they can also trample the goblins. Let's check what's happening here. More snow trolls. Killing all the goblin and goblin archers at the same time. Spiderling, they deal some damage against the horses, but... But these snow trolls have lots of HP, so... Like, they need forever to... Spiderlings need forever to kill them. Anyway, they died to the Black Numenorian and the Axorors. Ooh, look at this. Very wise decision from Awi Hawi. He chose the Blizzard. This is gonna make a um, nerf for all units. Um, yeah, yeah, Conado, he's playing amazing, Awi Hawi. Uh, like this, no. It's gonna make every, go every unit for the Goblin a Blizzard. It's gonna make and and Aoi, uh, and Urbi cannot counter this uh, blizzard. Uh, why? Because he doesn't have the the darkness plus 15 uh, power point. So so Urbi is behind with everything, and here there is a fight between Pikeman and uh, Black Nemenorian. Literally, Urbi lost map control. He has nothing, and the game was over to the favor of Awi Hawi 2-1 2-1 it is 2-1 now players have to change their switch their factions Awi Hawi should play goblins and Urbi should play uh, Urbi should play Angmar we have Urbi, the Angmar player, on the left side of the map against Awi Hawi on the right side of the map as Goblin. Let's see what Awi Hawi is going to do to beat Urbi. Uh, okay, Goblins, I don't like the Goblins a lot against Angmar. Like, Wolf ri Riders kill them big, big time. So, in my opinion, trying a new start would be more fun, like, I don't know if the half troll start works, I don't know if the cave troll start from the goblin against, goblin faction against Angmar works, so you need to try many different start to, um, to see what works the best. 
Uh, Awe Howe is getting the goblin cave and goblin warrior and now he's gonna get another goblin cave. Nice uh, tunnels line, uh, one farm. You see how he's playing this player? A farm, farm, farm. I mean tunnels they are called. A resource building. So he did not put them around his fortress in his three places. It's just like a line. So his opponent has to scout these places to know where his, his resource buildings are. Anyway, two goblin warriors. Uh, two goblin caves and gonna spam goblins warriors. And Irby is doing two Hall of Kings men. So it's gonna be infantry versus infantry. Goblin versus Gone the Bad Orc. For the start. More goblin caves. Ooh, the blight. This is gonna affect the economy of Awihawi so much. Economy and... Uh, as I said, this blight in this version uh, makes the um, makes the resource buildings and production buildings very bad. Uh, resource buildings are gonna be affected by 75%, uh, while uh, the production are gonna be affected by 25%. So production of resources is gonna go low, and production of units is gonna go also low. Irby is defending against the goblins. And at the same time he's creeping uh, Warg Lab. There is a huge army coming from Awihawi. I uh, don't see any tunnel. They just uh, walk. These are the most important farms for uh, Irby. Should not lose them. The starting farms. They level up very, very quickly. That's a huge Gundabad Orc army. Uh, but also strong and big Goblin army. Ooh, what was that? Oh, yes. How we, how we war chanted himself. Uh, Irby cannot war chant himself. I remember, he used the Blight on his opponent. So, Goblins won that fight. Normally goblins should uh, lose their fight. The melee damage is 15 for the goblin, while Gundabad Orc is 35. So Gundabad Orc should always win versus goblins. But they were war chanted though. They got a buff. That's why they won. More goblins. Yurbi is keeping this Gundabad Orc in this corner to scout this area. Uh, from maybe a potential tunnel from uh, Aoi Howie. Uh, this is the Spider Riders now. Okay, good decisions in my opinion. Spider Riders are horses, and the horses is gonna trample the Swordman Gun the Bad Orc. 600 resources they cost. Blight key, uh, hap has just happened one more time. Did not reach the fortress this time. If it reaches the fortress, give uh, plus uh, 18. Yeah, Spider Rider is a wise decision from the Turkish player. Wolf Rider from um, Urbi. Wolf Rider, they lose big time to the Spider Rider's bow. Because Spider Riders can use the poison, so Wolf Rider might. I mean, snow trolls are better than wolf riders always. Okay, I want to check the command point for each player. Uh, Awi Howie is standing on 500 command point. Uh, okay, 500 command point. While Urbi is standing on 550 command point. Seven power point for Urbi. Uh, okay. How we have used his bats. And the wolf riders are dying big time to the army of spider riders. As I said, the spider riders are better than the wolf riders. Because the wolf riders cost 500, spider riders cost 600. And they have the option to switch their bow. 
And with the bow you can poison them also. Poison the wolf riders. Okay. Some pikemen from Urbi probably. He can do something here. Yes, but yeah, okay. Actually the spider riders are very fast. He can't catch them with spearmen. A push from the Slovenian player here. But the goblins are always inside the tunnel and uh, they manage to defend. They kill them in a second. They are stacking together. Hello, hello, Pauline. Welcome, Monami. Okay. Goblin warriors are defending with the spider riders using their bow. This uh, feature is very, very powerful. Uh, spider riders with bow uh, are amazing to defend with them yeah army of pool is here are we how is trying to build barracks a, a tunnel in the top side of the base of urbi but it got countered like wolf rider and east uh, uh, ruder spearman oh that's a huge army of spider riders what is he going to do against that uh, what is Yurvi gonna do against spider riders? As I said, the poison arrows from the spider riders are killing the wolf riders. And let me check the command point, uh, and I mean power point. Thanks to the arrows of the spider riders, uh, Awi Hawi got 6 power point. Yeah, the spider riders did a great job. But still, the Angmar player is ahead <laughs> with power point. He's ahead with PowerPoint. Okay, Irby is trying to create the troll there. Pikeman, yeah, so easy to kill him. Big army. Uh, no transition for the Turkish player, Howie Howie. Just Spider Riders and Goblin Force for now. Yeah, nothing. Maybe if he buys the hero or. Like he should get something against whoa spider riders micro here from this area but they did that he needs to get something against these spider riders i don't know what it what he should what the ingmar player should do but he needs to find a solution for the spider riders because wolf riders cannot kill spider riders they have no option at all look at the spider riders they have many options Poison arrow twitching to the um, bow, and you can upgrade them with many stuff like forge blades, uh, fire arrows, and banner. The wolf rider are very basic; you can do nothing for for them. Okay, it doesn't look good at all for uh, the Angmar player uh, because of the spider riders. He has 14 power point Urbi in his account i mean in his spell book not account more spider riders whoa look at this big army here i did not see that from awiha from urbi engmar player a big army okay i think the wolf riders are bad versus goblins it's just because the uh the poison the poison is oh wildman very very nice move from the Turkish player. He summons the wildmen on top of the Angmar army. The wildmen are great, and they kill the axe throwers, uh, and they are war chanted also. Okay, nice one. He defended against Angmar, and the goblin here are gonna kill uh, the Rudor spearmen, the pikemen. Still, the Angmar player hasn't used his uh, power point yet. He has the first hero of Waldor. Waldor is gonna buff the pikemen. Uh, so bow, the bow of the spider riders cannot kill these uh, pikemen as fast as without Waldor. Remember, Waldor is buffing them. Ten power points for the Gundabad orc. He just can't summon the Gundabad orc. Spider riders will trample them, so he might be getting pikemen first and. Yeah, pikemen and he might summon them. Okay. This spider rider's army is really scary from Awi Hawi. Scary spider rider's army. 
tell they are shoot they are shooting all the time with their bow. And this unit did not summon anything. Ooh, what do we have here? Gundabat or summon defensively to defend. Ooh, wind from Urbi, the wind. But actually it killed nothing this wind. It killed it killed a few spider riders. I don't know if it was worth it. What do you think? Was it worth it? To waste now the wind, fell wind cost 10 power point instead of 5 power point. It is bigger, the radius. Um, yeah. So goblin player has now 850 command point uh, in many, many spider riders, goblin warriors. Um, Ingmar player is standing on almost 500 command point, 525 command point. And the blight is gonna be used here. Uh, in my opinion, doesn't look good for the Slovenian player, Awe Howie. Why? Because... Uh, like units, he's, he's unable to find the solution for the spider riders. Spider Riders and Goblin Warrior are giving him lots of trouble. Waldo is good, but uh, but I don't know. Maybe it's not his uh, his situational. Like he's good in some places. Uh, two tunnels from uh, the Goblin player, and more tunnels to deliver the Goblin directly to. His opponent's base. Oh, Karsh! What's oh, okay. up? Karsh, does the snow throw the kill the spider riders or what counters? Ikarn heroes are the best against spider riders. Like, like, I know that heroes kill them, but for the snow trolls, uh, yes, yeah, snow trolls are great. Like, Snow Trolls can uh, trample the Goblin Warrior and they are very tanky, they are not gonna die from the bow. Or the Spider Riders need forever to kill them. But yeah, Karch is a good uh, solution. I, I hope Karch is gonna do something. Okay, he slows them down. Whoa, he leveled up very fast, Karch. Level me. Like, let's be uh, real. Uh, when, you, uh, when you invest with heroes, uh, you're gonna... Uh, work for your late game you're gonna give okay but this here it's really bad goblins and tunnels if you invest in heroes uh, the more the game uh, goes late the more you win because the heroes are gonna level up exog for the uh, uh, Turkish player and exog is the killer of heroes 300 315 whoa a giant summon from urbi the angmar player countered by awi howie's watcher on top of the giant watcher does not kill the uh, giants but it uh, slows them down i want to check the hp of Ka uh, Karj. i mean his damage melee damage is 280 while azog's damage is uh, 347 so Azog's damage is higher than uh, Karsh Karsh is 280 while Azog is higher than 300 364 okay well defended against the giants here the giant summon and Karsh should escape otherwise he's gonna die uh, can Karsh escape from all of this? I really wonder. I want to see if he can. Karsh slows down the uh, units which follow him. Yeah, we will see soon. He can blink at level 5, but he's still level 4. Um, okay, Wildman summon. Very close to Irby's base. And nothing to counter it. Did Karsh die? Ooh, Karsh has reached level 5. He can now use the blink ability and he just has used it. Yeah, he saved himself by using the blink. Morgomir is out. Now, let's uh, talk about Angmar heroes. So deadly versus goblins. 
Goblin player still has tunnels in his base, in the base of Urbi. So he needs to find a solution for those tunnels. Morgomir. Fight without mercy, Morgomir. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, map control. How we how we have the map control for heroes. Urbi has some cool and strong heroes. He has the summoned orc ready, uh, but orc summon isn't gonna do much against spider riders. Spider riders are just very unique with their bow, and they are buffed. Doesn't look good for him. For the um, Slovenian player, doesn't look good at all. He lost so much command point and map control. Ooh, Spider Riders! Whoa, that was a lot of Spider Riders killed. That, that's like donating your opponent so many power points. You do, he just donated lots of power points by any, not focusing on the Spider Riders movements. Hello Gimeldor Halek, is Awi saving up for Drogos? Um, maybe he has 3000 resources in the bank. Azog has used his great battle rage at level 4 and Morgomir is escaping from that. So Spider Rider is better with bows and Rohirrims. Uh, Varrocloak, the, the power of the Spider Riders is the combination with uh, of spider riders with the goblin uh, warrior so goblin warrior and spider riders are so deadly goblin warrior and spider riders are a great combination so we're gonna face a spam and uh horses with bow but spider riders count as horses uh there is call totem here from uh Awi Howie making the spider riders stronger and Goblin King's leadership here is making even these spider riders even stronger. Uh, when from Awi he tried to kill the spider rider, he killed part of the spider riders. Ooh, okay, Gundabad Orc summon and Pikeman. Goblin warriors are everywhere and there is Shelob on the field. Uh, Urbi is defending, like, Urbi is defending now, he cannot do anything but to defend. He has Starch in a high level, like almost level 6. There is Shelob for the Goblin player, Goblin King level 4. Wolf Rider from the Angmar player. But yeah, yeah, uh, the uh, pressure, guys, the Goblin's pressure. Like Beyond the Standard says, the pressure, the snowball of uh, goblins and the dwarfs is very powerful because they simply can enter the tunnel. Oh, there is a dragon lord. Oh, we have has the dragon lord. Very uh, great move. Engmar <laughs> doesn't have any archer hero and doesn't have any fell beast, and the only and, and no dark rangers or axis rovers are no axis and dark rangers on the field. So. Uh, yeah, Axis, even if there is Axis, they're not gonna deal lots of damage uh, to the Dragon Lord because they are a low tier of archers, uh, Ag uh, Axis of Angmar. And the Dragon Lord has lots of HP. Also, uh, Spider Riders are trampling the Axis Rolls. Very great combination from the Goblin player. How is the Slovenian player Urbi gonna? get out of this situation how is he gonna get out i mean he has a dog i mean this guy he has um, uh karsh and uh, morgomir but sheila can counter them if i'm not mistaken sheila can eat them sheila has a lot of hp uh 5500 hp he's hurt though maybe she stepped on some pikemen Okay, Gundabad or summon, I mean uh, Wildman of Dunlin, not Gundabad, Wildman of Dunlin from the Goblin player. How we, how we love the Goblin faction and the Angmar faction, why? Because they are a spammy faction, he can have, have so many spam, 
uh, half trolls now he's going and going for the scavenged armor of the goblins it looks so uh, good for the uh, Turkish player Howie Howie these heroes are not doing much yeah 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 he should Angmar player should have gone for the snow trolls guys not for heroes to counter the spider riders spider riders you need map control and and heroes can will limit your map control why are they gonna limit your map control because heroes can be uh, in one place only unlike the snow trolls you can have many many snow trolls uh, everywhere on the map a huge snow trolls army they are fast and they can be like they can move really quickly better than heroes like better than Karch and Morgumen and I don't think there is a return uh, for the uh, Slovenian player from this situation like uh, his opponent is doing transition and buying uh, more upgrades and half trolls and even there is Balrog now I can't believe that he got Balrog Oh wait, but there is an also big ice wolf from the Angmar player. If I'm not mistaken, big ice wolf can destroy the Balrog. Big ice wolf got summoned on the half troll, killing all the half trolls. Okay. Big ice wolf, but he uh, the big ice wolf is not gonna change much, I think. Uh, this is a buff for the big ice wolf 50% damage and 100% armor Like the buff of uh, Balrog 50% damage and armor ignite uh, Whoa, what? Okay, big ice wolf killed ace dog He killed ace dog and uh, Ace dog and the goblin king with his uh, call the pack it actually is killing Balrog, the big ice wolf is killing Balrog. Balrog is focusing on the fortress. Uh, another buff with the devour. Whip. Whip. Balrog whip. Cards. And then the watcher from how we finished him. Uh, wow, what? Did you see that? Maybe he used call the pack. He killed Balrog very quickly with, with the big ice wolf. Giant summon in the base of Urbi. I don't know why he summoned them here defensively. Okay, that was very amazing. But now what? How how he still has his base and so many units, while Urbi has nothing. Like he ha he lost his barracks and no heroes. Uh, Karsh just got killed. Hey, Monsieur Tutu. Comment ça va, mon ami? Okay. Hey, www. Is this a live? Uh, what do you mean, uh, www? Is this live? No, it's not live. It is. Uh, 